Go. Everyone, everybody. Clap for power. In the year 1850, California became the 31st state to join the United States of America. Within the last 165 years, California showed the great promise of fulfilling its nickname, the Golden State. It truly has become one of the most powerful states within our union, and it showed many, many great promises in terms of rich and bountiful resources, great views, and also, we call it home. San Francisco. Los Angeles, San Diego. All these cities, world-renowned, have one thing in common. They call California home. But most importantly, we call it home. However, in the last 165 years, California has never faced a greater danger than it does today. And I'm not talking about an earthquake. I'm talking about a natural disaster in the form that we call drought. This drought faces many, many... This drought gives California many, many difficulties in terms of finding and allocating natural resources that we consume as Californians. It's our part and it's our responsibility to save our state. And our state government knows what is exactly happening. This is a very serious matter that needs very serious answers. Our state government realizes that this is one of the most severe droughts that we have ever faced within our history. And we must do the same thing. You and I need to conserve water. Together, we need to help our state, and not just our state, but the country as a whole, and save and conserve water, a very finite resource. In order to understand what is happening, and in order to fully comprehend the gravity of the situation, we need to understand the root causes of this drought, we need to also understand that there are environmental and economic factors that place into this drought as consequences. And finally, we will go over some, some topics and some issues into how we can save water. In a project conducted by NASA, National Aeronautics Space Administration and NOAA, which is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, they together collectively are monitoring the snow levels or the snowpack within the Sierra, Sierra Nevada ranges. And it's a mountain range that borders California and Nevada. Why is this important? In this, in this picture was taken in February 2014. A year later, this is how it looks like. It is 18% of its capacity. And why is this important to us? In this side-by-side -side picture, we have to realize that the snowpack is the only major source of water here in California. If it runs out, we are out of water. In a research team conducted by Dr. Alex Hall of University of California, Los Angeles, they have found, they have found and concluded the fact that the rainfall has decreased throughout the last four years, which causes the decrease in the amount of snowpack found in the Sierra Nevadas. Why is this important to us? Once the meltdown happens from the snowfall, it directly goes into the rivers and to the deltas that acts as a reservoir for the water system here in California. This picture is taken by a Getty photographer at Lake Oroville in Butte County, California. These were the water levels in July of 2011. A couple of years later, this is how it looks like. We are running out of water, and we are running out quick. Same story here at the Maria in the Oroville Reservoir in July 2011, and this is how it looks like today. Same, same story here, Greenbridge Pass at the Bridwell, Mar Marion Mariana, California, in 2011, and this is how it looks like today. Water is a very finite resource and we need to conserve it. There are many environmental and economic impact that not having water has into our state. And one of those are wildfires. Because the land is so dry and it's so parched, it is more susceptible to wildfires. And in an, in an interview conducted by, in an interview conducted by the Los Angeles Times, John R. Hawkins, the fire chief of the Cal Fire Riverside Unit and the Riverside County Fire Department, stated that we are preparing for another costly dry season. 
the wildfire is not just scorching our environment, but it's also costing us money as Californians. The United States Department of Agriculture. Another impact that the California that the California drought has is not just environmental, but it's also economic. One of this is not having jobs. The United States Department of Agriculture, USDA.gov, access on April 2nd, 2015, estimated that upwards of 99% of the country's almond supply are produced here in California. 90% of the country's 90% of the country's tomatoes and 95% of the country's broccoli. But what is affected the most is the prices of the avocados. So that 195 guacamole at Chipotle, you can kiss that price goodbye once prices go up. Also, one major impact that this drought is having is towards the mid-California. Mid-California is known as being the home or the center of the agricultural center here in California. Without it, we do not have economic vibes to survive here in California. The final thing we need to really realize is that we need to conserve and protect our water supply. And there's some ways in order to do this. The first thing is shower. Cut your shower time. Get in, get clean, get out. The next thing is buying a low flow water shower heads, which somehow tapers your water usage and, cut it, and cuts it in half. And these are available at Home Depot's, Ace, and Lowe's, your local hardware improvement stores. Also brushing your teeth. Instead of letting the water run, make sure you use a cup and use it. And just don't let the water run because that's very, very wasteful. Additionally, washing your car. If you wash your car every week, cut it into every other week or every two weeks. It's not just economically helpful, it's also going to help us conserve water. And finally, saving our environment by changing out your green, green, lush lawns into more, more friendly desert landscapes. These desert landscapes, if you look into a satellite picture of how our valley looks like, it is very green. We are in a very lush environment, and it shouldn't be like that because this is the desert. So if you convert your green lawns into a much more efficient desert landscaping, it'll help out our environment by cutting down the water costs. Overall, we need to be conscientious of the fact that water is a very finite resource. As Californians, we have to pull together and realize that water is running out. We play a major part into this drought and we need to help save our state. This is a very serious problem that needs to be met. So together, let's save water. <laughs>